Hi, I'm Peter Chen, Technical Marketing Engineer at Netgear. I'd like to show you how easy it is to use the heat map function on our WC7520 wireless controller to help plan your wireless network. Now I'm going to log into the wireless controller. Um, I can do that by pointing my browser at the IP address of the wireless controller. I'll be greeted with this login screen where I can enter my credentials, click login. The heat map tool is located underneath the plans tab. Before we can generate a heat map, uh, we have to first define our, our location, uh, our building or buildings, um, or the, and, and the number of floors uh, in each building. Uh, but for the sake of uh, demonstration, we're just going to have uh, one building with one floor. So I'm just going to edit the default uh, profile right here. Uh, we'll keep it building one, uh, floor name. I'm going to enter the dimensions of our building, and I'm going to upload the floor plan. Click Apply. Okay. As you can see, we've uh, defined a building here. Uh, next, let's go to the planning page where we basically can define uh, what kind of access point, uh, what kind of frequency band, uh, what, the signal quality, the number of clients that will connect per radio, uh, things like that. Uh, define the characteristics of uh, the wireless network here. So I'm just going to assume that we're using uh, the WNDAP 350, 2.4 gigahertz band uh, at, let's say, 80% signal quality and estimate. Okay, it says I'll need nine WNDAP 350 access points. And once you have all of these entered in, uh, it'll estimate and uh, you know give you approximate position for each access point to give you uh, the best coverage. Now, as you can see here, there are nine different access points, um, each showing its uh, you know wireless coverage radius uh, on you know within the building. Now, uh, as you can see, if you're not happy with the lack of uh, this little hole in coverage right here, you can always adjust the positioning of the access points so that you have 100% coverage uh, across the building. And, you know, this will be very beneficial uh, during the, the planning stage because you can know approximately, uh, you know, where each access point will go for you to get 100% coverage. So once you do that, click Save and you're done. And that's how easy it is to optimize your wireless network with Netgear.